friends, what is up? Welcome back to Tech for Tomorrow. We're bringing you all the tech all the time. I'm Eric, your host, and we've got a couple of new cards right here behind me. Now, everybody knows that the GeForce GTX 770 has been out for quite a while. It's been a very popular card. Two gigabyte card, very similar to the previous generation GTX 680, except for no electronic issues, and all your DirectX 11 stuff is fully supported. Yeah. So check this out. PNY. Some people know the company, some people don't. They're actually one of the OG companies in the computer industry. Back in the day, in Best Buy and Circuit City, all of those places that are now defunct, including Egghead and all the rest, PNY had their products on the shelf. All their memory and everything supplied the market for many years. Obviously, the market grew. Many other people got into the market, and PNY kind of got shifted off to the side. But now, they're going back into things pretty hardcore, and they're making cars cards that are supposedly completely non-reference. What is non-reference? It means it's not based off the NVIDIA's reference design as far as the cooling and the PCB goes. Now, this one's supposed to have triple cooling and it's supposed to be competitive with like the A6 cooling from EVGA, the DirectCU from the people over at Daysus, WinForce from, you know, obviously the people over there at Gigabyte and the Twin Frozer from MSI. Now, I don't know, I have never seen these cards before, but my contact Jay, hey, peace out Jay, thanks for sending these says these things are pretty badass. So let's hop in, let's do the unboxing and see the first look of these cards. And then afterwards, we're actually gonna build a system for you folks. So let's go. So here we go, folks. We've got two of these. The reason why we have two of these is we're actually going to build a system and test these things in SLI and see how well they do. So these are the PNY Accelerate Enthusiast Edition graphics cards. These are the GeForce GTX 770, as I said before, triple fan design. Now these cards actually come with a lifetime warranty, which is pretty cool. So don't have to worry about anything happening with your card. You can replace it. Two gigabytes of GDR5, all the basic stuff that you get with NVIDIA. You guys are familiar with that. Just flip it around, show you guys the back of the box, since I know a lot of people probably haven't seen these. Over here to the right are all the key features. I think that all the NVIDIA fans and stuff out there know these. We'll get to those actually in a review. This is just the unboxing. So anyways, we'll go ahead and take this right here. I don't even know if I need my trusty little knife, but I'll go ahead and use it anyways. Kabling. Um, a lot of you guys have been emailing us and asking us, you know, where we get the sound. I will ask the guys to put the sound clip in the description below for you guys, since I know a lot of you guys have been asking about what that sound clip is. So here we'll get the box out of the way. We'll get the other one just out of the way so we can do this properly. We'll pop a cap right here. We got once again the old boxception thing going on because there's always a box inside of a box inside of a box. So there you go, it's all white box, nothing pretty there. Uh, spinning around, yeah, gets confusing, right? I agree. All right, here's some of the nomenclature right here. Just specifies which card is actually in the box. Got a little tab here, go ahead and pop the tab, open the box up. On top, we see a nice little foam thing here, which I will throw the camera in. Did you guys say you missed that? Actually, I threw that and hit myself. Hmm, not good. All right, so inside, we have a very interesting driver CD here. You can see this one was high-tech design. They spent a lot of time on the design here. The artist behind this probably should get some kind of like pay raise or something because there's a lot of detail, as you guys can see. Um, and they extensively go into what it is right here. All right, set that off to the side. What do we got going on here? We've got the Quick Start Guide, the Guide de Demarrage Rapide, and the Gaia de Insigno Rapido. That's right, in multi-languages, that's right. We're worldly around here. So that's inside there. We get your DVI to VJ adapter for those people who still have those monitors. The last time I said nobody used them, you guys said, oh yeah, sure, some of us do. All right, and I apologize if you do, but hey, it's cool. So we'll move that out of the way. Is there anything else in there? It's not looking like there's anything else in there. Nope. So that's it as far as that goes. We'll set that up there on top of the old speaker. And we've got the anti-static bag here, all completely closed up and sealed. I will now go ahead and break the seal. Nice and loud there, and we shall pull the card out of it. Now we'll start on the back. Now I know a lot of people are going to probably say, what the heck is that PCB? Because it is kind of having that uh, kind of somewhat brown look. You can see there are four screws right here. This is for removing the cooling solution. Also, the PCB is slightly shorter than the entire length of the card. On the bottom, we see the PCIe 3.0 interface. At the top, we see the two SLI fingers. You can do triple SLI with these cards. Here along the side of the card, 
You can clearly see the aluminum heat fins, which help dissipate the heat away from the card. We have a six pin and an eight pin power connector here. So you need 75 and 150 right there, and there'll be an additional 75 through the PCIe. Flip the card around. Nice and clean looking all the way down. Let you guys see the other side. And I know I've been a little prick tease the entire time, so here you go, here is the triple fan design. And it looks pretty nice. Underneath, you can see that there are heat pipes and aluminum heat fins. All of the heat is taken up into the card and dissipated out through by the fans. Now, this one is slightly open air architecture, but the shroud does cover the entire card. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. When we get in the system and see how it cools, that'll be the defining moment. We'll flip around the back, DVI-I, DVI-D, standard display port, standard HDMI. So basically you get the card and adapter and you get that little user's manual and that's what comes in the box. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. The brand new PNY GeForce GTX 770 with its new triple fan cooling. Let me hear your comments down below. By the way, if you guys are interested in purchasing this card or getting more information, we'll have a link down there below the like button, which I know you guys are gonna karate kick, and it'll be all down there. So if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead and do so. Also, if you're not subscribed, there'll be a little clicker back here where you guys can subscribe. Also, if you guys haven't been following the channel, this is your first vid, we're giving away a $1,500 PC, and we just did a crazy introduction on a video that we're going to be having for our in-house game capture system, which actually had a lot of controversy because a lot of people seem to think that DX Tori and Fraps is better, and let me tell you, ain't happening. Anyways, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. We're going to be putting these cards in a system and then talking more about them for you folks out there. So see you.